Hi, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my newest psychic reading on Lil Tay, um, who I had never heard of until recently. Um, I'm sure quite a few of you have heard of her by now. She was, she was a 14 year old rapper who apparently passed away, who died recently. Um, I guess under mysterious circumstances, I'm not sure we're going to read an article by Time Magazine today and get some background, but y'all have been blowing up my DMs, y'all have been blowing up my messages or my comments on YouTube, so I was like, let me come back, let me come and do a little Tay. I haven't posted in a while either, it's been like a week because I've just, I guess I've been kind of taking a break, I think sometimes it's good to take breaks away from content making um and just live life so i've been living life and i've been doing personal readings so of course i'm always doing personal readings so if you want a personal reading by the way excuse me reach out to me you can text me at 703-791-9162 um, or visit my website lamartownsandtarot.com by the way if you're new make sure you subscribe whether you're new or not make sure you like the video share and keep in touch with me um, I'm Lamar Townsend. I'm a psychic, a tarot reader, an astrologer, and a medium. So definitely, if um, you would like a reading in particular, I would check out my website. Um, that's not the right screen. All right. This is my website, lamartownsendtarot.com. So once you reach this page, you know you're on the right page. You can scroll down and read reviews from people who have purchased readings from me. You can also follow me down here on Instagram and Facebook, where I post regularly as well. And if you would like your own reading, go right to the store section. I do offer quite a lot. Um, I do phone readings. I do email readings. I do video recorded readings where you send your questions. And then I record myself doing your reading and then email you that video to download and keep. I do birth chart readings, compatibility and individual birth chart readings. I do candles, a uh, lot, you know, love candles, money candles, protection candles, blockage removal candles, cleansing candles. I do um email readings like i said i do mediumship readings past life readings classes tarot classes astrology classes as well as spiritual development classes custom candles and so much more so if you'd be interested in any of those things i do quite a lot once again definitely check out my website lamartownsandtarot.com so first thing we're gonna do of course is let's go ahead and get into this article i've got once again from time magazine we're just going to kind of zoom through this. Uh, it says teen rapper Lil Tay has reportedly died. Now, I do want to say that there are also some rumors out there that her death is a hoax. So there's a lot of weird things going on. But let's see what the article says. Rapper Lil Tay has died, according to a post shared to her Instagram on August 9th. The cause of her death has not been yet made public, but the post said that the outcome was unexpected and has left us all in shock. The Instagram post also reported that her brother has died. Following the post, some people online expressed doubt as to its ver ver veracity, as her father and former manager would not confirm her death, and several police departments contacted by media outlets did not have reports of her death. The message shared on the account of Lil Tay, whose real name was Claire Hope, asked for privacy as the circumstances surrounding Claire and her brother's passing are still under investigation. Following the Instagram post reporting her death, her father and her former manager, Henry Sang, or Sang, both said separately that they could not confirm the teen star passing. Sang told the Daily Beast, given the complexities of the current circumstances, I am at a point where I cannot definitely confirm or dismiss the legitimacy of the statement issued by the family. He elaborated in a TikTok post. Hope's father declined to comment on whether or not his daughter was still alive. Insider also reported that the Vancouver Police Department had no reports of her death, and the Los Angeles Police Department told the publication that it too has no information on an investigation into the death of anyone named Claire Hope. Hope, who was originally from Atlanta, Georgia, and later moved to Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, first appear, first into the public eye in 2018 when videos of her at age nine went viral. She could be seen cursing, flaunting expensive watches and money. Over the course of her short career online, she amassed over 3 million followers on Instagram, where she posted relatively infrequently. Her most recent was uploaded in June 2018, dedicated to the late rapper XXXTentacion. Her post said that she looked to him as a father figure. She also befriended the controversial creator, Woe Vicky. So I guess this is Lil Tay talking about XXX Tentacion.
All right. Um, Hope gave an interview to the Daily Beast in 2019 alongside her mother a year after concerning posts were shared on her Instagram claiming to have bad news about Tay. In the interview, she said, I'm in a bad situation with her father and spoke about a custody battle, relocating to Vancouver to live with her dad and being homeschooled. Since the news of her death was announced, her memorial post for XXX Tentation has been flooded with new comments from users saying, rest in peace, X and Tay. Child. What is going on with this story? Let's go ahead and get into it and see what Spirit has to say. Thank you, Spirit, for opening up the channel so that I can connect with the energy of what's going on with Lil Tay. Thank you for protecting my energy, my thoughts, my mind, and my emotions in my space. Thank you for protecting those watching this video. And thank you for allowing the energies to disperse and go back from whence they came once this reading is over. In the name of the Mother, the Daughter, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name I pray and thank you. Amen, amen, amen. All right. Let's go ahead and see what is really going on with Lil Tay. Spirit, give me some clarity and insight as to what's really going on with Lil Tay. Okay. All right. The first thing I'm hearing is I'm hidden. I'm hidden. And I almost feel like I'm hearing this from Little Tay's perspective or, or her voice. I'm hidden. I'm hidden. I'm hidden. Like, not necessarily I'm hiding. I didn't hear that. I heard I'm hidden. All right. I'm hidden. So I get there's something going on with like taking the image or the mask off of Lil Tay. And this is a common thing with artists in general. Like they take the mask off, you know, it's like the Sasha Fierce effect. You know, when Beyonce gets on stage, she's Sasha Fierce. But when she's off stage, she takes all the, the mask, the makeup, you know, the, you know, the Spanx or whatever it is. She takes all that off and she's just Beyonce. Giselle Knowles Carter or whatever her real name is you know um and there's something about that with Lil Tay but having that concept at such a young age of I put the mask on I take the mask off and there's something about when the mask is off and she's behind the scenes as Lil Tay there's definitely like anxiousness there's definitely like anxiety fear depression like there's definitely Thing she is or was going through. I do get the energy. It's almost like she, like, I do get something where it's like, once again, though, I don't know if she's going through because you have to think when you have that type of success, but also when you're exposed to the types of things like let's look at some of the pictures that came up. I want y'all to see some of the pictures that came up when I Googled her. I want y'all to see what this little girl was doing when she was nine or however old she was like, look at this, this little girl. Holding up money like she like she's XXX Tentasha in her future. You know? Um, there was another one I saw where she was smoking, I think. This is her. 
it's so weird to see a little girl like there was one i saw though where i'm pretty sure she was smoking i was pretty sure there it is here it is i don't know what it is she's smoking but like look at the way she's holding it she definitely knows what she's doing and granted like you know we are all high schoolers and stuff like that but i don't know I guess this is her and her parents. So, this is her with a rapper. Oh, this is her with, what's his name? This little little girl next to this big grown man. What, I forgot what his name is. Lil Peep. Or, um, what's his name again? I can't think of his name. But y'all know who he is. So, this is what this girl was doing. When we were nine, you know, or I, I can only speak for me. When I was nine, I was watch, I was still watching Disney movies. When I was 14, I think I was just starting to go to parties and there were no, it was like still like popcorn, chips and, co you know, soda parties kind of thing. Like, you know, like, so. She's grown up fast is what I'm trying to say. And with that comes, it's kind of like the Drew Barrymore effect. When you grow up too fast and you're still dealing with the, the teen angst and the coming of age angst and all those types of things. And you throw in the mix success, money, potentially substances, allegedly for YouTube entertainment purposes. Um, and th just being around that culture. I mean, she had that picture with Lil Peep or whatever his name is, you know, so she's around that type of stuff, right? Um, oh, okay. Am I going to need, need some wine for this spirit? Am I going to need some wine? Lord have mercy. All right. I hear the words abused. And I don't mean her abusing allegedly substances and drinks. I think maybe her allegedly being taken advantage of in some way, shape, or form. Now, that could be mentally, emotionally, physically, sexually. You know, I'm not going to specify exact because I think it could be a mixture of multiple things. But I do get something about like violence though. Like, like, f like maybe there's some physicality, like some, some, you know, physicality, like, I don't know if it's beating or like something like that. There could be some physical issues going on there with abuse, allegedly, once again. All right, spirit, give me some clarity. Like, I need, I need confirmation as to what you're showing me. I like, just give me more clarity as to what I'm seeing. Like, what, what happened to this girl? You're showing me something, but what? I need more clarity. I need more detail. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, so I see her sleeping in her bed, and it's like someone comes in her room. It looks like a, like a man, a tall man. A tall man comes in her room. This is alleged, once again, YouTube entertainment purposes. But I don't know why I feel like there may like have been bruises like on her body or like like physical signs of you know like fighting or something like that or like I just keep getting that energy so if this little girl is passed away 
There definitely could allegedly be... Okay. There definitely could be something where maybe there was allegedly some form of abuse, allegedly. Once again, this video is for YouTube entertainment purposes only. Wink, wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. All right. But still, you know, y'all know what it is. Y'all know how YouTube is. Um, I think there may have been some sort of a, a abuse. Like, I'm not sure if this was the cause of her passing, though. But I think it, it was like it may have been reoccurring or something like that. And I don't know why I just feel like she may have had access to certain things, like access to certain substances. And it's almost like... Because I think she may have been suffering from depression, too. So it's like... It's either... She may have been abused. She may have potentially either accidentally or purposely been self-deletion you know suicider right um but i don't know there's cover there's cover-up energy here it'll be interesting to see what the cards say because there's cover-up energy here there's some weird stuff going on here there's they're definitely trying to hide something that I will stick to 100%. They're definitely trying to hide something with the way they're handling the whole situation. I will say, is there something, even if this girl is alive, you know, with the hoaxes and stuff, I haven't even looked at the brother. Because why would they say the brother's also passed? There was definitely things going on behind the scenes. When when this girl took the mask off, she was living a completely different life. I like I don't know why I get John Bonet Ramsey vibes. Allegedly, once again. So I think there's they're definitely trying to hide something. They're trying to cover up something. Is this girl, even if she is alive at the very least, is there something wrong with her? Yes. Even if she is alive, there's still something wrong. Where there's smoke, there's fire. All right? So we're going to have to really keep our eyes on this story because they're trying to hide something. As to what this girl has gone through, what this girl is going through, or what happened to her. One of those three things they're trying to hide. Well, let me repeat them one more time. They're either trying to hide what this girl has gone through. Because remember, I was saying, you know, the abuse could be reoccurring. I get depression energy around her growing up fast, being around, you know, and then we read the article issues with the parents. So, you know, they're trying to hide what she's gone going through. They're trying to hide maybe what she's gone through. All right. Or they're trying to hide what happened to her. Or they could be trying to hide all three things, actually, to be honest with you. So there's definitely suspicious activity with this little girl. We definitely, I would say, keep this little girl in your prayers. Because I just don't think she's around the right people. Um, I, I almost want to say, like, there could be something with the father, too. Allegedly. Like, where even the maybe, like, family may not be totally trustworthy. You know? Or it's like a matter of, well, who can I trust kind of thing. All right? Can I even trust my family? I feel like this girl has gone through stuff. She's gone through stuff. Period. All right? Um, all right, you guys. Let's go ahead and see what the cards have to say. Although I do want to say, is she, I want to tap in one more time and just see, is she passed? Is this little girl actually passed away? Because I heard I'm hidden at the beginning, remember? I feel like she's been being hidden. Like, I feel like. She's being hidden either as to try to figure out, like, what to do with her or, like, 
should we, you know, kind of offer or like, you know, like it could be that kind of energy or like she's being hidden. Like, that's just what I hear. She's being hidden. That's definitely something we can ask the cards, though. Probably the first question we'll ask. So let's go ahead and get into the cards. All right, we're black. Let's go ahead and cleanse the cards and get right into the reading. Thank you for cleansing and clearing the energy of this deck when you pass reading. Amen, 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 amen. Perfect. Is Lil Tay actually dead, Spirit? Give us some clarity and insight as to is this little girl actually dead? Is Lil Tay actually dead? Is Lil Tay actually dead? Remember, if you guys want a personal reading from me, I am available. Text me at 703-791-9162. You can visit my website. I'm also available on my website, lamartownsintero.com. And of course, make sure you subscribe, like, and share. Three of Swords. Um, there's definitely an issue with her, y'all. This is connected to one's physical appearance, how one sees himself, how other people see them. Three of Swords could be backstabbing energy. Um, Three of Swords definitely could be disappointing news, heartbreak. Oh God, the Ten of Swords connected to money and finances. It's not looking good. Is she? Is she actually dead? The Lovers card connected to family, home, and emotions. The Four of Cups connected to energy, zest for life. Four of Cups could be emotional disconnect. Um. Four of Cups in this position doesn't necessarily specify if she's alive, but it does show that there could be people around her once again. Seven of Swords connected to one-on-one -on -one relationships. It, this is cover-up energy with, with what's going on with her, like I said. Is she actually dead? The Ace of Swords it shows up connected to death. The Ace of Swords is a card of enlightenment, truth. Um, It's a card of... Important information being said, words being spoken, words were spoken on her death. But I have to say that this Ace of Swords in this position is facing the Seven of Swords, which Seven of Swords can be cover up energy. Seven and numerology can be associated with secrecy, life behind closed doors, hidden enemies. So once again, there's something covered up here. There's some cover up energy here. I can't confirm, like, I don't know, like, it's possible she's she's no longer here or alive or once again they could be stalling because these first two cards are not good um and the ten of swords it's like could there be something connected to money the hangman shows up connected to fatherhood energy the world card shows up as the last card which could be a card of a completion of a cycle Ten of Cups connected to family. Um, I'm not getting a clear answer, to be honest, as to whether or not she's dead. And that's giving me a cause of concern. Because it's possible she may not be dead. Right now, at least. But irregardless, they're trying to cover something up still. There's something they're trying to cover up. It's kind of like the thing where, like, like a criminal digs a ditch and they bury, you know, the crime in the ditch and cover it up. And, you know, the next day it's like they go on, go on a walk with their friends. And, you know, instead of, you know, ignoring, you know, the, you know, the whole sized, you know, ditch, they point it out like, oh, look at that hole. I wonder what that is. Huh. You know, I have no idea what it is. Let's keep walking. And it's like you just incriminated yourself. You know, like that's kind of what's going on here. So I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's what I'm seeing. What happened to this girl? What really happened to Lil Tay? What is going on with Lil Tay? What is really happening with Lil Tay right now? Give us some credit and insight as to what is really going on with Lil Tay.
The sun card. What is going on with Lil Tay? Ace of Swords connected to money and finances facing the sun card. There could be something with money with her. Like, God forbid this be a, a ploy, like a Carly Russell 2.0, like, you know, kind of thing. To be a ploy for money if it turns out she is alive. Like, God forbid that be the case. I get family here. Ten of Cups. Family's involved here. I will say Ten of Cups. This shows up connected to secondary family members. This could be siblings. There's two siblings in the picture. They did say that the um the brother passed. So then we have to look at the caretakers. Who wh who was taking care of the brother and the sister? Lil Tay and the brother. This could be aunt, uncle energy. This could be sibling, cousin, energy, secondary family, or local, like local. Something happened locally. But it's interesting if you look at the card, it's like all is well in happy land and family land. We're the perfect family. But once again, when you get in that house and, you know, the door closes and the, and the blinds, you know, close, is that really the case? The world card shows up once again. Are they moving her or are they trying to hide her? You know, I'm wondering if this is something where also could this be allegedly a trafficking situation with the world card showing up? Allegedly. I'm just I just got y'all know my job is to say what spirit shows and what spirit, you know, puts in my spirit. There's some weird stuff going on here. Period. Knight of Wands shows up. What is going on with this girl? Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles could be doing something she doesn't want to do. I wonder what her Zodiac sign is. Queen of Swords. This little girl could have had people feeding off of her as well. You know, it's like, you know, the cash cow or the golden child kind of thing. She's not surrounded by the best people. Four of swords. I keep getting fours. Four is working within groups of people. Four can be humanitarianism um, or a lack of humanitarianism. Four can also be um, inventiveness. It can be social media, the internet technology. Riling up. Could it, could it be riling up social media technology or the internet? Three of pentacles. There's definitely negotiations as what to do next. With her, with her body, with her, her likeness. Like, there's something with that. I get a female here. I get the five of pentacles. What is going on with this little girl? Seven of wands. I think this little girl, seven of wands in this position is a lack of respecting someone's boundaries. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I've never noticed this, and I'm going to say something, you guys. But it kind of falls in line with what I was saying earlier. Do you guys notice the way that these wands here are positioned? In between that person's legs. Do Have you guys ever noticed that? That to me says something. And then look at how this person is fighting off. Fending themselves in a way. Now, in some cases, this card can signify self-sabotage, like this person is self-sabotaging themselves. But in this position, of when where this card falls, where th this position speaks of setting boundaries, illusions and confusions, things not seeming like exactly what they are or what they're presented as. Once again, her mask in public versus the real her behind the scenes. Y'all, I think this girl, like, she was abused. This is a card of abuse. Doing things against her will, being forced to do things against her will, whether it was trafficking or whether it was like, you know, just w going on stage and she wasn't feeling it that day. This is a card of you're going to do what I say, you know, and not, you know, the person fighting back and not wanting to do it. But for some reason, those two wands in between the legs really sticks out for me. Like, was she trafficked, allegedly?
There's some weird stuff. Maybe that's the last question we can ask. Been on for 30 minutes. That's not bad. Was Lil Tay allegedly allegedly trafficked? Was Lil Tay allegedly trafficked in some way? Child, y'all know we get deep on this channel. Make sure y'all like the video and just say a prayer for Lil Tay. Wherever she is, whether she's with Spirit or whether she's still physically here currently, let's just, just pray for Lil Tay. Seriously. For Pentacles, being around people and, you know, uh, people maybe where there's like a need for like, uh, there's money involved. But look at the way this person is covering themselves too. Could she have been forced to do certain things for money that she didn't feel comfortable doing? I keep getting these same cards coming out, y'all. She was forced to do things for money that she didn't feel like doing or she didn't feel comfortable doing. That maybe went, once again went against her boundaries or went, went against her better... Um, her better sense of self. So right off the bat, it's kind of looking like... In some ways, she was. Maybe not necessarily in the way we think, but once again, let's pull more cards. There's a female behind her. This female, once again, shows up connected to secondary family, local energy. Two of pentacles, connected to money and finances. Once again, I think she may have been the one to garner abundance for the family, once again. It's like the sacrificial lamb, almost. The sun card is my yes card, you guys. Is this girl trafficked in some way? The sun card showing off right off the bat? Yes. Possibly even for her talent. Or talents. Not having the best people around her. Maybe even people around her that tell her one thing, but then do the opposite. It's like, yeah, we're going to go to... A performance, you know, and don't worry about it. It's going to be fine. But it's like the performance is at like a, you know, some like trashy club, like kind of thing. And it's like, it's not fine because there's creeps around. Like there's something where it's like her, her maybe her safety was always, was always in question. Nine of swords connected to death, connected to change, evolution and growth, intimacy. Nine of swords is once again, someone being in their head, someone, this could be a card of nightmares. This could be a card of like trauma in this position in particular. The magician card, cover up energy, the two of cups connected to career, professional destiny, fatherhood, energy, the tower card connected to unexpected occurrences, working within groups of people. She didn't have the best people around her. Could this girl have been trafficked in some way? I have to say yes, y'all. Like I said, she may have been abused. She may have been used for her talents, used for other things. And we just wish, you know, that whatever's going on with her, even if she's passed, you know, or not, just wish her soul love and light and peace. All right, you guys, this is very sad. So let's go ahead and get a final card. I don't know what deck I want to pull my final card from, though. I have so many decks. Oh, let's do the Isis Oracle deck. Let's see what Isis, Goddess Isis, has to say. Goddess Isis, thank you for coming through. Thank you for providing clarity and insight as to what is going on with Lil Tay. What final message do you have, Goddess Isis, about what is going on with Lil Tay? All right, it says, Pillar of Light, Descent of the Star of Isis, Pillar of Light.
Let's see what it says in the book. Pillar of light, child. Pillar of light, honey. Let's see. It says, beings of light and divinity are calling you now. They wish to connect with you more strongly, and you are being gui guided to strengthen your energy field to allow more of the divine light that seeks you to flow through your body safely and into expression. Beloved initiate, you are called to allow more divine energy and light to emanate from your body to help build your light body so that the love and healing of the cosmic feminine energies of the star of Isis can descend through you, offering healing light and assistance to humanity and setting your own heart and soul on fire with divine love and passion. It is suggested that you first build and strengthen your natural pillar of light within your energy body, like building a broadband cable so that you can receive energy transmissions into your being more easily. Without such preparation, it would be like trying to run high voltage electricity through wires that were not equipped to handle it. Some fire and damage would occur and the practice would not be safe or sensible. The pillar of light is the energy tube of pure white light that connects the soul star chakra above your head and the earth star chakra beneath your feet. The star of Isis will descend from above your soul star chakra, pouring in grace, light, and healing power until it eventually flows into a river into your earth star chakra, blessing the earth through your body. There's something about this girl's story that's going to be... Um, that's going to be, I feel like, um, what is like a teaching moment or a lesson for humanity in some way. The star of Isis, also known as Sirius. So, so this is about the star Sirius. This is Lionsgate energy. We just had the Lionsgate portal. So interesting, this is happening during Lionsgate and this card came out. It says, the star of Isis, also known as Sirius, rests in a state of bliss, joy, and has the soul presence of heart, great strength, and stunning spiritual light. This is the consciousness seeking to manifest more fully in service through you now, beloved initiate. You are becoming more and more ready to sustain such high vibrations. Remember I was saying um, she was hidden? Listen to this. It says, rest quietly in a space where you will not be disturbed and close your eyes. Imagine deep beneath you in the earth there is a ball of radiant light. It rises up through your body, connects with your heart, and then flows out through the top of your head until it reaches a ball of radiant light hovering above your head. The light above your head begins to flow down to your heart and continues on until it reaches the ball of light beneath your feet in the earth. Allow this pattern of light ascending from the earth to the heart and out through the crown chakra and descending from the crown to the heart and down into the earth to continue for several moments, breathing easily as you intend this to happen. Interesting. All right, so this is the incantation for Pillar of Light. It says, Pillar of Light, burning bright, earth star below, soul star above, burn away all that is not light, transform all into unconditional love. Star of Isis, descend, your blessing and peace without end. Grace me now with peace and protection, completely embraced by divine perfection. This girl, if she is dead, she it, it, may, it may almost be a blessing. Because the things she would have gone through or continued to go through, it's kind of like the same thing, like I said, with John Bonet Ramsey. It's it's weird, you guys. So, all right, y'all. We will keep our eyes open on this situation. Y'all will definitely have to keep me updated. Maybe we'll do a part two eventually. Thank you all for listening and watching. If you want your own personal reading, once again, text me at 703-791-9162. I'm available right now when you're watching this video. Keep in touch. I do have WhatsApp for international clients as well. Thank you all so much for listening and watching. Make sure you like the video, subscribe, and keep in touch. God bless.